on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kaysen. New details just out from the mayor of Davenport, Iowa, Mike Matson, in the wake of a partially collapsed six-story apartment building. At this time, we have five individuals that are still unaccounted for. Two of those we believe to be possibly still in the building. One woman was rescued from the debris yesterday. Officials want to demolish what's left as soon as they can to prevent additional problems. A House committee today considers the deal to raise the debt ceiling. There has been grumbling in parts of each party about it. Pennsylvania Republican Scott Perry. An unlimited debt ceiling increase. Unlimited. And oh, by the way, puts the incoming president, whether that's Joe Biden or whether that's a Republican, having to deal with it in a lame duck session. Absolutely and completely unacceptable. The investigation in full swing in South Florida after a boardwalk shooting that left nine people hurt, including four children yesterday. CBS's Christian Benavides. Police in Hollywood Beach, Florida have released surveillance video by face search for anyone who may have been involved in Monday's mass shooting. One person of interest is seen in a yellow hoodie. Another has on a gray sweatshirt. It's unfortunate when we have law-abiding citizens come to our beach to enjoy the day that gets disrupted by a group of criminals who engage in this type of violent activity. At least one person is in custody. Prosecutors say the suspect who opened fire in a Pittsburgh synagogue in 2018 had malice and hatred for Jews. 11 people were killed. Legal analyst Thane Rosenbaum has more on this federal trial. This case really isn't about guilt because the crime is undisputed, although his lawyers are prepared to mount an insanity defense. The case will come down to the penalty phase. Federal prosecutors are seeking capital punishment. That's what the jury will be asked to decide. Overseas, CBS's Deborah Pata says Russian drones attacked Ukraine's capital for a third straight night, and Moscow came under attack, too. According to Russian media, more than 10 drones targeted the capital today, with around 300 people evacuated from a high-rise building after it was damaged in the attack. Zelensky's presidential advisor says while they are watching the attacks with pleasure and believe they will increase, Ukraine has nothing to do with them. A federal court ruling has cleared the way for OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma to settle thousands of legal claims over opioids. The decision protects the Sackler family from claims outside of what's already been agreed to. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 133 points. The NASDAQ is up 71. This well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.